What's up everybody, we are all hyped for this, video game to come out. Dragon Ball Sparking Zero In today's video, I would like to talk about potential DLC characters. From DLC Pack 1 through 3 The content that is guaranteed included, is Dragon Ball Super Hero, and Dragon Ball Super Content. Now I would like, to throw in Super Characters as a wild card. And you will see soon of what I mean. The characters that I will show on the screen is in no particular order. And then let me know what you think. Here are the potential characters that I think will be in the game. And note that in the making of this video, I believe that GT characters will be in the base game. These are characters I believe will be in the game, Beat, Cumber, Helles, and Heart. I have no idea why Beat looks like Goku. I guess we need more Goku clones in our games or the art designers just ran out of ideas. But I have never watched Super Hero. Because I thought there would be a dub version come to find out that's never going to happen. Also Cumber looks like this big buff dude and I like it, with the long hair, his outfit in general looks cool. I do not know what is his deal with wearing the mask, is there some significance to wearing it or not? Let me know down in the comments. Then we have Heels and I have seen her from the Tournament of Power so I did recognize her. I have not seen nobody talk about this character Heart. He seems like a villain in the anime so I'm going with that assumption. But with his design, plus I have never seen him before I would love to see what his moveset and key attacks he would have. Some of them like I said, I have never seen those characters before. I am so excited and I would love to see them in the game and just imagine the character move sets that are differ from all the other main characters we have all seen in the manga and anime. Especially Cumber, whenever the DLC packs come out which I assume will be several months after the release of the game. Which I assume will be by the end of the year considering Sparking Zero is coming out in October. Now I have a second slot of DLC characters I think will be in the game. Again this isn't in no particular order, so let me know what you think. I have played Xenoverse 2 and I have seen Fu before, but I didn't notice that he came from superheroes. But these other two while searching up characters for this video, I never knew existed, like legs and arrows. Especially the character on the far right, she looks extra new and different. Knowing that we will be getting content from this series, it's a good thing to know that characters will be first introduced in a Dragon Ball video game, for the very first time. Again this is just speculation and I am not confirming anything, but considering we are getting superhero content, I would say 9 out of 10 chance, that all of most of the characters you see in this video will be in the game. Also a side note, in the making of this game there are some new updates that I wanted to talk about after this segment so stay tuned for that. Here are additional characters from the series, keep in mind this is only superhero content. I haven't even discussed I'm the content yet or the DLC packs. I have been seeing discussion that Shallot is a key favorite and a character that a lot of people would like to see in the game. I am hopeful that he will be in the future. Later down the road, I don't even think that he will be the secret guest DLC character. That Sparking Zero is trying to hide from us. I am thinking that, they will go down the Xenoverse road and every few months we will get a dose of new content, updates, you know things of that nature. Keep in mind that this game is coming out in a few months, and I can't wait for it to come out. I am so excited for this game and looking forward towards its potential. In the fighting game content among other games like Street Fighter and Mortal Kombat. Another side note I may have already said it before but GT will be in the base game, at least most of the main characters. Oh boy, now let me know what you must think about the Dragon Ball Sparking DLC characters so far. Do you have any ideas yourself? Let me know in the comments. Now with this game being over 164 characters, this game is going to be massive. Also add DLC and it will be over 200 characters in the future. Now I can toss out more superhero characters but I think you get the point already. Let's now go ahead and talk about DLC Pack 3. Again I'm going to toss out different pictures and let me know what you think. Now with the newest Dragon Ball anime coming out this year, I might watch it who knows. But all things considering, I don't think the series will ever go away. I mean with how much sales, money, video game copies this anime produce all year round. The developer would be dumb not to keep going, 
It's weird why this new anime turning all these characters back into little kids again. Just like GT this is just crazy. I am not so sure but is Goku ever had a teen version? I know there is kid Goku and adult but never teen version. Beat kind of looks like him but I think you get what I mean like why the little kids. Regardless, the picture I just showed you, you can chop it up to the majority of playable characters I feel like will be in the game. I can be wrong but from my Google searches I didn't see any new characters or anything to me, so unless I am wrong which I don't think I will be. If there are any villain characters then I am so up for it. Until then time will tell. That's all I got for Diamasari, for this section I would love to talk about characters that I think will be in the base game. In the making of the video, I think there will be we a few more character trailers left. And from what's left I think there will be GT characters in the game for Sparking Zero. The Ginyu Force at least the rest of the team. The other forms of Cell and maybe Kid Buu. I would love to see the character reveal of Kid Buu. We got Charlotte, Kid Buu, the rest of Cell, we got Android 21, Super, I think Super Android 17, and among the other characters that I just shown would probably be a part of the DLC pack. I'm just assuming, you know, speculation and all of that good stuff. Now, I would like to take this other section, which I just talked about Daimo and then other potential characters, as far as like GT, which I already said would be in the base game. I'm guaranteeing it's going to be in the base game. At least the majority, like Super Saiyan 4, Gogeta, Super Saiyan 4, Goku, Super Saiyan 4, Vegeta, I think Omega Shenron, I think at least those four. And then the rest would probably be in DLC 4 or something like that. I'm just thinking because we only got like what DLC 1, 2, and 3 so far. Yeah, so far. Okay. So, with that being said, let me tell you this other update. Now, again, in the making of this video, a lot of things have been happening as I'm, <laughs> as I'm editing this video. But in the making of this video, there has been a character reveal. Not really a character reveal, like a, an update to the official character customization roster right and if you look on bandai namco's website there is so much to talk about but from i'm just gonna read all flight highlights and while the video is scrolling i'm just going to just read it off to you so we've got the hud the dragon ball sparking zero keeps the same essence of the Budokai Tenji series, giving a comp compressive overview of each state during the fight. We got the key gauge, we got the skill count, is used when you perform various moves, such as transformation fusions, skills like perception and revenge counter charges over time, and every time the blue bar is full, it adds a new charge to the count. Controls. Now, they say that the classic controls would play similar to previous games. Now, I grew up on the classic controls back in PS2, and I will be playing on the classic controls. I might do standard or like at some point, but I'm basically basically going to stick with classic. Then we got the QTE sequences with rotating thumbsticks. I'm going to break my controllers. I already got like four, so I'm I'll, I'll be fine. You know, the standard controls, step dashing, jumping up and down, smash attacks, key blasts, understand battles, stats, and then we get to customization. The ability to customize every character in the game to make them fit with your taste and style. You can change the character's outfit based off your log costumes. Note that this change is only cosmetic only, does not have an impact on the character stats, but can only change sometimes moveset when equipped. You can choose to equip certain specific characters or anime accessories, Halo, scooters. Oh, yes, we, we're, we're buying scooters now. I think it's supposed to say scouter, but we're riding scooters. Orals, things like that. Customize all your favorite characters to make your look even more unique in online battles. So, this is like the newest update 
for this game. And I would be getting like updates like every few days, character trailers and all that good stuff. Now from we are looking to Anime Expo, which is coming on July 5th, 2024. And we are no we know that there would be official reveals on Anime Expo and there would be a demo live built there. So we may get like a new character there. I'm not sure sure. But it might be like a newer build of the game. I'm assuming it's going to be like an updated version. And we might get like a beta release date. We might get like a character blog or a character trailer. Probably not a character trailer, but like maybe like character blogs. But we'll see. But uh, yeah. But uh, yeah, that's all I got for you today. My discussion about Spark and Zero DLC characters. What I think the rest of the characters will be in the new was update as of, as of the making this video don't forget july 5th 2024 there would be new additional news but as uh, far as like the dlc is concerned what do you think do you like my slots that i picked for the dlc characters do you think i missed out on any because there were a few that i missed out on but uh yeah let me know your list also what do you think about the video like any tips or how I can make the video more interesting, please let me know. Please, I would love to. Um, but uh, yeah, hopefully you enjoyed the video. And this is Prime Excellence. Peace.